morning, retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn certainly has his critics, but he also has Donald Trump's ear now offered the national security position. National security advisor he would be. It would carry extraordinary influence, and there's no Senate confirmation needed. And now Donald Trump may be looking to form what would really be a team of rivals, the same way President Obama picked Hillary Clinton for Secretary of State. NBC News has now learned that Trump is eyeing Mitt Romney for that role. It could be a reassuring signal if it's real. Donald Trump making his first major national security decision, offering retired Army Lieutenant General Michael Flynn the position of national security advisor, a critical post inside the White House. Flynn, a Trump campaign loyalist, would be responsible for helping a president with no national security experience navigate global crises. And after trading harsh insults for months. Mr. Trump is a con man, a fake. Mitt cannot run. He choked like a dog. Trump and Mitt Romney are set to meet face to face this weekend. A source close to the president elect telling NBC News Romney's being considered for Secretary of State. This following the governor's scathing and repeated takedowns of Trump during the campaign. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud, even waging an all out assault on today. He doesn't have the temperament or the personal qualities to be a great president. Four years after endorsing Romney for president, you can do it. Others being considered for appointments, Florida Governor Rick Scott and South Carolina's Nikki Haley, Texas Congressman Jeb Hensarling, a possible pick for Treasury. Trump, ever the showman, may be the master of misdirection, leaving America guessing whether these names are serious or spectacle. On Thursday, Trump, his daughter Ivanka, and son-in-law Jared Kushner met privately with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. No press allowed. Abe saying Trump is a leader he can have confidence in even after Trump suggested during the campaign that Japan should pay more for its own defense and possibly obtain nuclear weapons to defend itself. I would rather see Japan having some form of defense and maybe even offense against North Korea. On Capitol Hill, a triumphant return for Trump's vice president. Mike Pence taking a selfie with fellow Republicans. Late Thursday, Trump claimed his first victory even before taking office, tweeting that the chairman of Ford had agreed to keep the company's Lincoln plant in Kentucky and not move it to Mexico. Ford tells NBC News it planned to move production of one model out of Kentucky, likely to Mexico, but has no plan to close the entire plant. An overnight, a top industry analyst tells me even if production of that Ford model left Kentucky, it's unlikely any jobs would have been lost there. One final note, some big news about the divisions among Democrats. Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan is now officially launching a bid to unseat House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, who is now overseeing the smallest congressional minority in nearly a century. Matt and Savannah. All right, Peter, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.